I'm meteorologist Angela Buckman. Want to give you an update on powerful Hurricane Milton. Spent most of Tuesday as a Category 4. But with the latest update, it's back up to a Category 5. We have winds at 165 miles per hour as the center of it sits just to the north of Cancun, still over the warm open waters of the Gulf of Mexico. So it is expected to sustain that Category 5 strength at least for the next several hours before the weather pattern down there changes just enough that we see some weakening. Despite the weakening, this is going to be a major storm, a major hurricane as it makes landfall late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. This is the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. Mentioned the Category 5 strength. By 2 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, a, a 4, but barely a 4 in terms of winds at 150. 50 miles per hour. That's still basically a category five, just under that category five strength. It does continue to weaken just a bit. Uh, 2 a.m. expected landfall near or just south of Tampa. Looks like the Bradenton area may take a direct hit. That's the latest track for now. Still a category one hurricane as it impacts cities like Orlando. So it's going to move across the entire state of Florida with hurricane force winds before it exits on the east side of the state. Something that we're going to continue to monitor for you. Lots of threats with a landfalling hurricane, including tornadoes. So they're going to be dealing with not only the threat of tropical storm force and hurricane force winds, but the threat of tornadoes. Let's talk about the tropical storm and hurricane force winds and that timeline. You can see the tropical storm force winds get close to the west coast of Florida, and this is going to happen during the daytime hours of Wednesday. So as early as Wednesday midday, tropical storm force winds arrive. Then those hurricane force winds arrive with the eye and the the eye wall, and that will happen late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. The winds will then move across the state of Florida, as I mentioned, as it tracks basically over the Orlando area. So that's a threat. Tornadoes and the damaging destructive winds. Heavy rain also a threat. Rainfall estimates, if you look at the area in purple from, say, Tampa oh, to just north of Orlando in that purple area, that's as much as 10 to 15 inches of rain. So not anywhere near the coast and where this makes landfall, but heavy rain that will lead to perhaps some catastrophic flooding. Speaking of catastrophic, Oftentimes, most of the damage comes with this wall of water that we call a storm surge. In a low end or weaker storm, you can see the wall of water much smaller, doesn't really come inland. However, with a major hurricane, yes, Milton is going to be a major hurricane, that wall of water 10, 12, 15 feet high, and that wall of water comes in, and you can see with this uh, model the destruction that we see from that wall of water. Anything in its path is really taken down. So, destruction and loss of life, oftentimes we see most of that with the storm surge. Those are the threats with Hurricane Milton as we stand now. Again, Category 5 expected to weaken, but we don't really want folks to focus on the fact that it's going to weaken. This is still going to be a powerful storm when it hits late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning.